hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the bearing capacity of foundation when it is on the top of the slope okay we will be taking two cases in this video the first one will be the bearing capacity of a foundation when it is built on a purely cohesive soil and second one will be the bearing capacity of a foundation when it is built on pure cohesionless soil okay so first case uh, which we are taking is uh, for the pure cohesive soil i have been given a question which states that in figure given below for a shallow foundation of clay the following data are given that is uh, width of footing this is two meter depth of footing this is two meter distance of footing edge from the top of the slope this is one meter height of the slope this is 6 meter angle of slope is 30 degree unit weight of soil is 17.5 kN per meter cube friction angle is 0 because this is a pure cohesive soil and effective cohesion is 50 kPa we have to find the gross allowable bearing capacity with a factor of safety equal to 3 the first thing uh, which we will see that what we have been given in the question so distance of edge of footing from the top of the slope that is B small b this is one meter okay this is this distance height of slope this is six meter slope angle this is 30 degree and depth of foundation this is two meter effective cohesion this is 50 kilopascal unit weight of soil is 17.5 kilonewton per meter cube so the stability number okay in case of uh, slopes this is given as ns is equal to c dash divided by gamma h okay c dash is the effective cohesion gamma is the unit weight and h is the height of the slope so for our case to solve these uh, problem that is find the bearing capacity of foundation on the top of the slope we have to use the Meerhof's bearing capacity uh, charts okay and the charts these have the curves of the stability number so first we have to check if the width of the footing this is less than height of the slope we have to use the curve for stability number equal to infinity and if width of footing this is greater or equal to the height of the slope we have to use the curves for the calculated stability number that is in the first case you have to use the curve for stability number equal to infinity and in the second case you have to calculate the stability number first and then take the curve for the corresponding stability number in our case the width of footing is 2 meter and height is 6 meter it means that b is less than i so we have to use the curve for the stability number equal to infinity in the Meerhof's bearing capacity factor chart okay which i will show you in the next slide so we are given that df divided by b this is 2 by 2 which is 1 and b by b okay this is 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 and uh, slope angle this is 30 degree so next we have to use the Meerhof's uh, bearing capacity factor chart which is shown in this slide okay you can see the horizontal axis is for the distance of foundation edge from the edge of the slope that is it is the ratio of b by b small b by capital b vertical axis is for the bearing capacity factor and cq okay these are the curves the uh, d for df by b is equal to zero we have to take the straight line and for df by b equal to one we have to take the dashed line okay and here is the inclination of the slope that is zero 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree and so on for the first uh, stability uh, factor which is ns is equal to infinity similarly for stability factor of 0 0.5 we have to take this much portion for stability factor of 0 0.25 you will take this portion and similarly for stability factor of 0 0.18 you will consider this portion so for beta is equal to 30 degree df by b is equal to 1 and small b by capital b ratio this is equal to 0 0.5 since our uh, we have to take the stability factor ns is equal to infinity so we have to see our bearing capacity factor in this portion of the chart our ratio of b by b this is 0 0.5 which is here 
okay and df by b this is one it means we have to take the dashed line so from b by b is uh, ratio of b by b equal to 0 0.5 which is here you will draw a vertical line okay and this vertical line since our um, inclination of the slope is 30 degree it will cut this uh, curve of 30 degree at some point okay this dashed line of 30 degree which is here because we have to consider this uh, zone of the chart so from this point you will draw a horizontal line okay and this will cut the vertical axis at some point which will give you the value of the bearing capacity factor in our case which is 6.25 so for beta is equal to 30 degree a ratio of df by b equal to 1 and ratio of p by b equal to 0 0.5 we got the value of bearing capacity factor and cq equal to 6.25 okay now bearing ultimate bearing capacity uh, for the foundation using the Meerhoff's bearing capacity for cohesive soil this is given as simply QU is equal to C dash and CQ this equation is valid when the foundation is on the top of the slope and is built on the purely cohesive soil okay so value of C dash this is 50 kilopascal and CQ bearing capacity factor which we just found out this is 6.25 this gives me the value of ultimate bearing capacity for this foundation as 312.5 kilopascal gross allowable bearing capacity of this foundation this will be simply ultimate bearing capacity divided by factor of safety so it will be 312.5 divided by 3 which is equal to 104.2 kilopascal will be the gross allowable bearing capacity of this foundation which is built on a purely cohesive soil on the top of the slope so this is how we can find the bearing capacity for the footing built on the top of the slope in case of purely cohesive soil now we will uh, find the bearing capacity of the foundation which is built on the cohesionless soil okay that is in case of the granular soil so i have been given a question which states that figure given below shows a continuous foundation on a slope of a granular soil we have to find the ultimate bearing capacity okay for this soil angle of internal friction is 40 degree okay and height of the slope is 6 meter distance of the edge of the footing from the top of the slope is 2 meter width of footing is 3 meter depth of footing is 2 meter okay and effective cohesion for this uh, soil is 0 because it's a sandy soil so given information in the question is distance of edge of footing from the top of the slope that is small b this is 2 meter height of slope this is 6 meter slope angle beta this is 30 degree depth of foundation this is 2 meter and angle of internal friction is 40 degree unit weight of soil is 16.8 kilonewton per meter cube again first we will find the ratio of d f by b which is 2 by 2 which is 1 ratio of small b by capital b which is also 1 and we have uh, slope angle equal to 30 degree and angle of internal friction equal to 40 degree so we have to again use the Meerhoff's bearing capacity factor chart for the cohesionless soil okay so for df by b equal to 1 uh, ratio of small b by capital b equal to 1 slope angle equal to 30 degree and angle of internal friction equal to 40 degree we have to find the value of bearing capacity factor from this chart okay you can see this chart horizontal axis is the ratio of small b by capital b vertical axis is for the bearing capacity factor again for df by b equal to 0 we have to take the straight curve okay uh, that is the bold one and for df by b equal to 1 we have to take the dashed curve so in our case we have to take the dashed curve because the ratio of df by b equal to 1 you can see here we have the inclination of the slope which is 0 degree 20 degree 40 degree again 0 degree 20 degree 30 degree 40 degree and on the right hand side we have the angle of internal friction so first three curves these are for the angle of internal friction equal to 40 degree then these are for the angle of internal friction equal 30 degree and so on so we have to take uh, inclination slope equal 30 degree and angle of internal friction equal 40 degree so you can see these top uh, three curves these are for the angle of internal friction 40 degree and first one has a, a slope angle 0 degree then 20 degree and 40 degree so we can see in this chart we don't have a curve for 
angle of slope equal 30 degree it means we have to interpolate from the 20 degree curve and 40 degree curve so our ratio of p by b that is small b by capital b equal to 1 which is here from this point we will draw a vertical line okay this will cut the 40 degree and 20 degree slope angle curve at some point so it will cut the 40 degree curve at this point from this point you will draw a horizontal line this will give you the value of bearing capacity factor for the slope angle of 40 degree which is 80 and similarly for slope angle of 20 degree you, you will get the bearing capacity factor equal to 160 okay now we will interpolate between these two values to get the bearing capacity factor for the slope angle of 30 degree so from the ch uh, chart we got for df by b equal to 1 b by b equal to 1 beta is equal to 20 degree and phi dash is equal to 40 degree we get the value of bearing capacity factor equal to 160 and similarly for the slope angle of 40 degree other ratios remaining the same we get the value of bearing capacity factor equal to uh, 80 okay so from interpolation you will get for df by b equal to 1 b by b equal to 1 and beta is equal to 30 degree and pi equal to 40 degree we get the value of bearing capacity factor equal to 120 okay this is obtained by simple interpolation that is from the linear interpolation okay next ultimate bearing capacity for the foundation uh, using Meerhaus bearing capacity for cohesion less soil this is given as QU equal to 1 by 2 into gamma into b into n gamma q okay this equation is of, of Meerhoff's for bearing capacity of foundation on cohesionless soil on the top of the slope okay this is only valid when foundation is built on the top of the slope in case of cohesionless soils okay putting values so gamma unit weight of soil this is 16.8 width of footing is 2 and bearing capacity factor is 120 we got the value of ultimate bearing capacity for a foundation as 2016 kilopascal okay that is 200 2016 kilopascal so this is how you can calculate the bearing capacity of foundation when it is built on the top of the slope for cohesive and cohesionless soil using the Meerhoff's bearing capacity factor charts okay I hope this solution video was clear and effective and you learned something new from this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.